Hey there, Bill Thomas here, welcome to Bill's World. On our fudge of this set, we're now going to take a look at another video game console. Yeah, we already covered Nintendo and Atari, but now it's time to check out Intellivision. Intelligent Television. We gotta go back in time, so bear with me. Mattelectronics released in television, short for Intelligent Television, one of the most unique video game consoles ever to hit the market. Here we have the master component and the keyboard component, which allows you to do some stuff on your TV or the computer. Anyhow, I did say gaming console. Get to play some games on this. So. Let's take a look at it more in detail. This is the control to the Intellivision. 17 buttons, including the disc on the bottom. You got a mirror keypad like a phone. What's complicated, you need overlays for this. To know what you're doing. You got two fire buttons on the side, but overall, looks pretty neat. So, here comes some overlays, so. Yeah, these are handy to help you know what each button does. They're different for each game, so it'll be much easier. Check out its library. Man, a lot of good games, mostly arcade games, some land copies. Cartridges? Pretty simple. Look and design. Just an end label. Huh. How about that? It's got a whole bunch of accessories, like the Intellivoice voice module which allows enhanced games to have voices. There is also the play cable, huh? It's like pay-per-view for video games, which connects here in television. Remember Sears? Telegames? This is their version of the television. the Intellivision 2 was introduced. A whole lot cheaper and smaller with detachable controllers. This accessory was the system changer, which allowed you to play Atari 2600 VCS games. This led Atari to file a lawsuit and make Intellivision one of their patents. a few seconds ago, the controls for this one were detachable, yet they still had the keypad, desk, and two fire buttons on each side. What an innovation! Shortly after, a few years later, INTV took over in television manufacturing, and they did it for the rest of the days of the Intellivision. Now on to its legacy, the Intellivision Plug and Play, which allows you to play a set number of games on your TV with no extra cartridges or consoles. Just plug it in and play. This was during the time where Plug and Play games was at its infancy. And we wanted a console with built in games. That game has the Intellivision Flashback. If you own the Intellivision or haven't, this is your console. What do you know? I'm out of time. Join us on the next World's World when I discuss ColecoVision. See you next time. Peace.